the 458 Italia. I've always loved these cars. Some people really prefer the, the new 488 GTB, but, you know, I've always been wanting to get this car so bad. Ever since I've been dreaming for a car like this, I've always been thinking to myself, hey, since I have Forza Horizon, why not make a race car out of a 458 Italia? Not too long ago, since Gran Turismo 3 inspired me to make another race car, I decided to make one of my favorite Japanese race cars, the Castro Tom Supra. And then recently in Forza Horizon 2, I made a replica of the LaFerrari FXXK, which is kind of a frustrating paint job because the side uh, vents were kind of like a pain in the butt. But now, it's time to replicate another race car in Forza Horizon, using the Ferrari 458 Italia. And this time, we're going to be making specifically the Ferrari 458 Challenge. Before I show you my photo collage of the Ferrari 458 Challenge, I just want to tell you something in advance. The ordering is going to be very different than most before and after pictures. And usual before and after pictures are just showing you back and forth, like, okay, this is the before clip, and then there's the after clip, and then there's like the before clip, and there's the after clip, you know, something like that. But in this case, I'm going to show you I like the timeline on how am I going to do it. So basically what I'm trying to say here is I'm going to show you the first set, which is the before pictures, and then I'm going to show you a second set, which is my process of making the the car. I, I'm not going to show you my vinyl groups or anything like that, just uh, straight up pictures of the car. And then the final set will be the finished product. So without further ado, let's get on to the photo collage.
And there you guys have it. That is my replica of a Ferrari 458 Challenge done in Forza Horizon 1. Now, real quick, I want to tell you something about the Ferrari 458 Challenge. The real Ferrari 458 Challenge shown here has no rear wing, whereas in my Ferrari, it does. Second of all, the real Ferrari 458 Challenge has no front splitter exposed as shown here, whereas in mine, it does, as you can see by that little black flap right on the side of the front fender. And finally, is the rims. The real Ferrari 458 Challenge uses a single lug nut, which can be taken off with a special tool, whereas this one has five lug nuts. But all in all though, it's pretty good. It's pretty well accurate. And in fact, this is actually the easiest race car to ever replicate in Forza Horizon. And um, I'm actually glad that I made it, so yeah. Now since I already made three race car replicas, I'm gonna be asking you, the viewer, what race car I should replicate next. Post it on the comment section below and I'll be happy to give you a shout out on my next race car replica video. But first of all, that's not going to be the fourth race car replica I'm going to be making. No, 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 no. That's going to be the fifth. Why? Because the fourth race car I, I'm already thinking about making and the fourth race car replica I'll be making is Apple Bloom's race cart from MLP's The Cart before the ponies. Leave a comment down below on what race car you want me to replicate. The first person who comments on a race car they want me to replicate will be given a shout out and will be featured on my fifth race car replica video. So put those comments down below and I will see you guys later.